So, I got a question. Since when did so many men on the internet become experts about being men? Did they open up some sort of degree in masculinity at most major universities and I was just never made aware of it? Because we got a lot of people on the internet, a lot of these alpha males, a lot of these uh, positive masculinity people, which, you know, they're better than the alpha males who are telling you, you know, don't ever let a woman tell you this, don't ever let a woman do this to you, don't ever give them any power. There are some people who are trying to spin the masculinity thing in a more positive way and people, you know, they see that and they're like, cool, but but even that to me, I I don't understand. I don't understand it and I don't know why anybody watching any of these male influencers, whether they're positively masculine, whether they're negatively masculine, toxically masculine, what do they know about being men more than the men who are watching more than the men who are tuning in, more than the men who are following and subscribing. What do they know? Like, what, what, what is the source of this esoteric knowledge that, that nobody else has or that psychology doesn't have or that social workers don't have? Why? Because I think even the, the positive masculinity types, I think that they still feel to a certain degree that men are being left behind. And whenever I hear a man talk about being left behind in society, I can't help but chuckle. I I, I can't. It's it's not that I'm trying to be an asswipe or, or or you know, but they complain it's harder to get into university. They complain it's harder to find a job because the women are going out and, and forging their own path because previous generations told them you can't do this. You got to stay home and take care of the baby. You got to stay home and take care of uh, of the cleaning and all of this 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 work that the men can never do and the men should never do because we got to go out and earn. We got to go out and be the breadwinners. We got to go out and hunt and gather and bang our drums out in the forest with all of our other male friends at masculinity camp, getting further in touch with our masculine sides. <sighs> If you're watching another man on the internet to get in touch with your masculine side, I got news for you. You're wasting your fucking time. Because what you need to be a man is already within you. It doesn't need to be accessed from some external source. It's already within you. If you feel you're a man, if you know you're a man, congratulations, you're a man. Now what's the next step beyond that? I got some good advice. Better than some of these influencers even. Don't be an asshole. Don't be a dick. Just be nice. Treat women with respect. Treating women with respect is not tied in and should not be tied in with masculinity or manhood. It's tied in with being a piece of shit. If, if, if you're being misogynistic, if you think women are lesser than because of this reason or that reason or they, that, that they still should be in this box and that maybe we need to take a step back because they're getting a little bit too much attention... That has nothing to do with being a man and everything to do with being an asshole. So when I hear these influencers say, come on guys, let, let, let's respect women a little more. I don't see that as positive masculinity. I just see that as them teaching you to not be an asshole. And you don't need some guy with a beard and some supplements to sell you to tell you how to not be an asshole to other people. You can watch it for free on PBS. I'm st do they still air reruns of uh, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood? And I'm sure there's some masculine dickhead out there who thinks that Mr. Rogers is a little bit too feminine, you know? These ideas of what's masculine and what's feminine, what's masculine, what's feminine. Ugh. What's masculine and what's feminine. We don't live in that world anymore. Things have moved forward. And I know, I know, I know, there are issues that young men face that probably should be getting more attention Probably should be getting more attention, but it's not the fault of women. It's not their fault. It's not their fault for advancing now that they can advance in a world that's made it um, easier for them to advance. When before it was like, nope, you can only go about this far. That's all we got for you. How many babies have you pumped out? You want to pump out some more babies for us? You know, you want to do some more babies? <sighs> it's not their fault. And the answer is not let's let's put the brakes on this this uh, 
that this this feminism thing or let's put the brakes on this advancement of women's rights and equal rights let's it's 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 like to these people it's an imbalance like we're, we're getting way more talk about women's rights and no talk about men's rights or, or men's issues and to some degree to some degree there might be merit in that and if you want to be an influencer to talk about the ways that men are not being acknowledged in society, I don't think that's such a bad thing. But I think it's a bad thing once it starts getting directly tied into this masculinity that we've somehow lost. That we lost somehow because your daddy told you that you lost it or because your granddaddy told you that you lost it or because the meathead at the gym told you that you lost it. Uh, some some pro wrestler with a podcast told you that everyone's getting too soft and it's because our masculinity is going away. It's going away. Your masculinity is right where it's always been, inside you, in your gut, in your belly, in your brain. You haven't lost it. And women haven't taken it away from you. And don't let any dickhead on the internet tell you otherwise. You can, but you'd be offering them a large part of your brain and in exchange you're getting nothing. Nothing but more hatred, nothing but more fear. Oh my god, we're going to lose more ground. In this patriarchal society of ours, you're 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 gonna be okay, man. We're gonna be okay, okay. We're 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 gonna do just fine. If if a matriarchal society is ever to emerge, maybe that'll be long after we're all dead, buried, and gone and forgotten about. But for right now, we're fine. Anybody telling you that this is like some urgent issue that men are under threat? That, that men's issues are under, or, you know, under the threat of being completely forgotten. <laughs> that is such total bullshit. And they have almost, they never have any evidence for this sort of thing whatsoever. They'll take like the smallest incident concerning, you know, a woman versus a man and go, Oh, uh -huh, look at that. Look at that right there. It's all the woman. It, it, it's, it's all her. And it's like... It's it's just I think it's getting a little bit ridiculous, and you know that there are people out there who who see the Andrew Tates of the world and they put them in one category and they see the more positive masculine people they put them in a different softer category now I think they're both you know they're not one and the same but they should both be avoided at least I will be avoiding them at all costs because tying goodness into a binary trait. It's, it's just, it, it's, it's pointless. It's completely, utterly pointless. If you're trying to be positively masculine and tell young men, don't say this to women, don't do that to women, it's not a masculine thing. It's a human universal thing that should be done to one another. Respect one another. Treat one another with dignity. Be more communal. Be more open to one another's experiences. Listen more. Use your fucking ears. Why does that have to be masculine? Why does it have to be given to us by some some prick in a kayak with a beard and a backpack full of granola? I I, I don't get it. I don't get it, and I don't like these people, and I, I question their motives, especially, especially if they've got product to move, if they got something to sell you, if they've got supplements, if they've got, you know, some kind of sponsorship deal with, with dude wipes. What the fuck is that, dude? We're here. We're here, folks. We got dude wipes. We got wipes that that are like manly scented for your ass. Um, I'm losing control. <laughs> it's just this this world is is a funny, funny place full of a lot of funny, funny people who still think so binary, binarily on such a binary level, and it's like stop surrendering your brain. Open your mind to every concept, and everything, every possibility, everything, at least everything that's not bigoted. But, you know, you can't keep forcing yourselves into these binary boxes saying, oh, this is feminine, you shouldn't do that. This is masculine, you should do more of that. Just do you. If you want to feel like a man, you want to feel manly, do whatever it is you think makes you feel manly, as long as it's respectful to yourself, and especially respectful to other people. And... Putting the concept of respecting women into this 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 box of positive masculinity just just further reinforces the idea that it has anything to do with masculinity. Because, but it just fucking doesn't. It's just dignity. It's just respect.
no respect and dignity and, and do all that stuff and eat your vitamins, but it's not because you're a man, it's just because you're human and humans need nourishment and humans need pleasantries and, you know, what am I doing with my hands? Like I said, this world makes less and less sense the longer I live. I got nothing else to say. Have a good day, folks. I missed the button.